If you're still using the default WordPress theme, stop right here. Seriously, it might be costing you more than you think. Default themes can make your site look unprofessional and turn visitors away before they even read a word. In this video, I'm gonna show you why upgrading your WordPress theme is one of the fastest, easiest ways to boost your site's design. And I'll show you how to do it in minutes. Okay, so the default WordPress theme or 2025 or whatever version you're on is not built to impress. It's built to be neutral. That means no branding and no real personality. And that affects everything. Trust, time on site, conversions, even SEO. So let's fix it. Now, before we install anything, here's what you're looking for in a theme. Clean, professional design, mobile responsive, updated regularly, and lightweight for faster loading. And ideally, include starter templates. Now you're probably thinking, okay, but where do I find out all that information? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. Now you're probably expecting me to take you to my WordPress dashboard and show you the theme directory through the dashboard. But I actually think one of the best ways to compare and review themes is through wordpress.org. So I'm on wordpress.org forward slash themes. And here you'll be able to browse over 13,000 free themes within the directory. And the reason I'd recommend coming to wordpress.org rather than going through your dashboard, you just get a little bit more information and it's a bit easier to see each theme and review from here. So if I just scroll through, you'll see all the themes that you'll see within your WordPress dashboard and we'll cover that in a little bit as well. So we're gonna go through these and you can see we've got some fantastic themes here. If I click on the second page, we get to through to the second page. And if I just click on the Neve theme here, we see we get all the information we need to make a decision about this theme on this page. So right away, you see a good picture of the theme. You can also preview the theme. So if I click on this, it'll open up a live preview of this page where we can go through and we can click on things and we can check out any of the pages that are on this starter site in the Neve theme. We also get a little bit of text about the theme and also the patterns that come with it as well. We can also go back to the themes page and we can see things like the version number, when it was last updated, how many active installations it has, the WordPress version that it's compatible with, the PHP version. We can also go back, go to the theme homepage if we want. And more importantly, if we scroll down here, we see the ratings that this theme has. And if we click on any of these star ratings, it will take us through to the reviews for this theme. And all these reviews are pretty much up to date. So this allows us to have more information about this theme from the people that are using it. And now I've jumped straight into my demo site. And of course you can do exactly the same and view themes through your dashboard as well. You just have to come over to appearance here, hover over that and then click on themes. You'll now see all the themes that are currently installed on your site. Obviously this is a, fresh demo site. So I've got the 2025 theme active on the site, but to add a new theme, all you need to do is click on the add theme button up here. That's going to bring you to the theme directory, which is the same thing that you've just seen on wordpress.org. And you'll be able to scroll through all the themes in this directory. And they're filtered at the top by popular latest block themes, favorites, if you favorite them. So if we scroll down, you'll be able to see you get all the same themes. And if I click on Neve here, you'll be able to see and compare the information that you get here to what you get on wordpress.org. Ultimately, you get to see the same preview and see how everything works. And you can go through to the ratings as well from here as well. So I'm just gonna head back. I'll scroll back up. Now, before you install a new theme, if you've got a website with content on it and you've been using that website for some time, I would really recommend backing up your site before you switch the theme. And you'll notice over here, I've got Duplicator in my menu right here. You just click on that. And the great thing about Duplicator, the light version of Duplicator, is that you can start creating backups for your site straight away, completely for free. All you need to do is come to Duplicator, click create new, and then you're away, you just a three step process, you'll have a backup of your site literally within minutes. I totally recommend doing that before installing a new theme on your site. 
Now I don't need to do this on this site because it is a demo site, it hasn't got any content on it. So I'm gonna head back to appearance over here, click on themes, then click on add theme, and now go through the process of adding a new theme or installing a new theme on this site. So I'm gonna scroll down here. And as I've used Neve as an example in this video already, I'm just gonna hover over it and then click on the install button right there to install the theme on my site. Then once the theme's installed, just click activate, and some of the reasons I think Neve is a really good theme to use on your site is that it's free, modern, and it's built for performance. It also comes with a way to kickstart your website and your design by using starter templates. And you can see the start templates button here. So we're gonna install that by clicking that there. You can then pick a category for your site. I'm just gonna pick business. And then you can choose the design from any of these starter websites you see, I'm just gonna scroll down. Some of these are paid templates, so you can see you can get a little pro sticker, but the ones without any pro stickers are free and you can install them straight away on your site. I'm gonna go back up here and I'm just gonna select this marketing agency one here, so I'm just gonna click on that. Neve now gives you the option to customize the design before you import the starter site on your website. So you can upload a logo if you want. You can change the color palette by clicking on these color palettes here. And then if I scroll down, you can change the top typography as well with any of these pairings that you can select right here. I'm just gonna leave it on this one and then I'm just gonna click on continue. Next, you can select all the features that you want on your website. Some of these come as required. Some of them you can select if you want, I'm just gonna leave them as it is and I'm gonna import the website and then click on start import. And then that's gonna import all that content for the starter site on your site. And what that's gonna give you is a great base to then start designing your website from. Okay, so once the site's fully imported, you'll be able to see it. I can scroll through this site right here. I can click on any of the links above and it'll take me to those pages. So we've got all the content. So we've got a good base to start our design process from. So Neve gave us some options to customize before we imported the site, but how do we customize after we've imported this starter site? Well, we're just gonna to go to the customize up here in the admin bar, click on that and open up the WordPress customizer. And I'll show you this really, really quickly. So Neve gives a bunch of options to be able to customize this site globally. So that means change things across the site with a couple of clicks. So if we click on global settings here in the customizer, we can then see the things that we can edit or we can configure. So we can configure things like containers, colors and backgrounds. If I just click on that, you can see that the global colors are shown here and then we can change individual colors for the whole site as well. If I go back, we can change things like content sidebars, pages, buttons, form fields. And if I go back even more, then we can go down here to the header and then we can start editing this header right here and swapping things around, adding things as well. And Neve gives you some amazing quick links to change the logo. So if you've got a logo that you wanna to add to the site that you didn't add at before the import, you can do that as well. Just gonna go back again and then we can do the same for the footer and typography as well. So that's how to customize things across the site. If we just go back quickly, and as Neve works with the block editor, you don't need a page builder or anything like that. You can just click on the edit page button here on any page or through the dashboard, and that'll bring you into the block editor. And then you can start editing any of the content, swapping out images, changing colors, changing buttons, changing text, anything like that. Also, you do have access to some of the otter blocks and things like that that have come through with Neve. So these are some fantastic blocks, completely free that you can use to add more features and functions to your pages. Also, if you click on Otter Patterns, you then get access to a full pattern library where you can slide in different sections and layouts as and when you want. So if you wanna swap something out from the starter site that you imported, and you wanna change a section, maybe you've got a different call to action that you wanna add in or a, a gallery that you want to use or change the hero section to anything that you want, you've got all these ready to go and add to the pages, which is fantastic. 
Okay, so I'll head back. If you click on the, it comes with a bunch more options on this page as well. Now let's say you wanna take this a step further and build something like a standalone landing page super fast, maybe for a product offer, opt-in form, or even a coming soon page whilst you build the rest of your site. That's where Cprod comes in. Cprod is a fantastic drag and drop website builder that can work alongside your theme and build pages in minutes. It's fast, flexible, and doesn't affect your main theme setup. But if you like the whole live view, drag and drop feel, Cprod has a fantastic theme builder and professional templates too. So you can pretty much build any website you want just using Cprod. There's a link in the description of this video for our free course on getting started with Cprod. I totally recommend you check that out. If it's helped, hit the like button, drop a comment below, and let me know which theme you're switching to or if you're going with seed prod. And if you want more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've been Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.